Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Hey everyone, welcome back to Katie's Kingdom. Today we're diving into a world of drama and fashion faux pas, as the pop star Katy Perry just won her court appeal against Australian fashion designer Katy Perry. Yes, you heard that right, it's not about the singer with the iconic voice, but actually another person named Katy Perry who was trying to trademark her own name. So, let's break this down. It all started back in 2019 when Katie Jane Taylor, an Australian fashion designer, sued Katy Perry for selling merchandise under her birth name, Katy Perry, in Australia. But here's the thing, the singer had been using that name since before Taylor even started her own business in 27. Talk about a case of deja vu. Now, you might be thinking, why would anyone try to trademark their own name? Well, it turns out Taylor thought she was being protected by her Australian trademark law. But little did she know the singer had already been using the name for years. Katy Perry even went as far as to say that Katy Jane Taylor's business was not a threat to her brand. But here's where things get really interesting. The court ruling in Taylor's favor seemed to suggest that she owned the rights to her own name and that Katy Perry couldn't just use it without permission. And now, three appeal judges have overturned that ruling giving Katy Perry the green light to sell merchandise with her stage name once again. Now I know some of you might be thinking, wait, why is everyone so upset about this? Well, for those who follow Australian fashion, you know how hard it can be for small businesses like Katy Jane Taylor's to make a name for themselves. And it seems like Katy Perry just took advantage of that by using her own name and potentially hurting the designer's business. But hey, at the end of the day, it's all about the law, right? And according to our sources, the Australian courts have ruled in favor of Katy Perry. So, while this might not be the most glamorous story, it's definitely one that will keep you entertained, especially if you're a fan of the pop star and her legendary music. So, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Are we being too harsh on Katy Jane Taylor, or was she right to try and protect her brand? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more juicy celebrity news and behind the scenes peeks into the world of Katie's kingdom.